Hey there guys, thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. My name is John Campia and this is a special user submitted question. Now, what happens is every day on the John Campia show, Monday through Friday, we take live questions and every once in a while somebody sends in a tip of like $50 or more and I'd like to honor that by not only answering their question in the live show, but I also like to answer it again in its own standalone video. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And this one gets sent in to us from Burke the Nerd who writes, you inspired me to start my YouTube channel, Burke the Nerd. Well, that's great because I always encourage people, I think more and more film fans should get involved in blog, pa blogging, podcasting, and, and YouTube channeling. Anyway, uh, we just did a stream on my channel about how big the Sonic slash Pikachu movies were and discussed a Super Smash Brothers cinematic universe like the MCU. I do not think that would work, but whatever. Uh, are cinematic universes the key to constant success? All right, thanks a lot for writing that in, man. And that has been... I got to say, one of the biggest myths in all of film fandom with the success of the MCU is this notion started going around that, oh, shared cinematic universes, that's, that's the key. That's the magic formula. That's the magic button you press to have guaranteed consistent success with your movies and your movie franchise. And my response to that is, that's simply not what history has taught us, and that's simply not what we have seen as far as any sort of proof, I mean, look at it this way. We've got the MCU, big successful shared cinematic universe, absolutely, but what other examples have there been? Next to none. I mean, the DCEU, we can debate the DCEU, and certainly the movies of the DCEU, which I've enjoyed, other than Birds of Prey, but I've enjoyed the movies of the DCEU, and to some degree, they've had some financial success, but nowhere near the success that a lot of people, including the most hardcore of DCU fans, kind of expected or thought that they would or could have. So there's that. Universal tried to have, you know, launch with that Tom Cruise mummy movie. They tried to launch a shared cinematic universe, and that, well, to be kind, kind of fell flat on its face. I mean, Star Wars has never been a shared cinematic universe kind of franchise until Rogue One. Once Rogue One came out, then it sort of became a shared cinematic universe. And then, of course, Solo and now Mandalorian and things like that. But really, for the most part, it's just been a linear franchise in many ways, shapes or form. Quite frankly, outside of the MCU, you're going to find very few examples of shared cinematic universe stuff that translates to success. The moral of the story here is this. There is no magic formula for success. Doing standalone movies is not the magic formula for success. Doing big franchises is not the magic formula for success. Doing shared cinematic universe does not guarantee, as we've seen, does not guarantee success. You know, any more than any genre is guaranteed to succeed. You know, that people saw it, thought, oh, uh, any comic book movie will be a big hit. Well, Hellboy, the new one, would like to have a word with you. I mean, so clear, that's it. See, everybody as film fans, we are constantly looking, and I understand why, because I, I get caught up in this too. We're constantly looking for what's, what's the mixture? What's the right formula? What's the recipe to guarantee success? And there is none. You know, you can get a standalone, isolated in its own universe movie like Joker, and it makes a billion dollars. You can get a movie like Spider-Man Far From Home that's connected into a larger universe and it can make a billion dollars. So there's no kind of copyright on which formula or blueprint to follow. So no, just making something a shared cinematic universe in no way guarantees or gives you any even increased likelihood of success. The only real thing to success is to make something that resonates with the fans and the audience and gets people motivated to go out to the theaters to watch it. And that can be a standalone movie, a franchise movie, a shared cinematic universe movie, a documentary, it doesn't matter. But there's no magic formula to just make it happen. At least that's how I see it and that's kind of how it's played out so far. But the question here is guys, what do you think about that? Do you think there's maybe some kind of mathematical formula here that can guarantee a movie's success? Yes or no? Jump down to the comment section below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Anyway, guys, that will do it for me for now. Thank you so much for being here. My name is John Campia and until next time, bye-bye.